people, welcome back to the Arsenio Buck Show. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. And if this is your first time tuning in, well, welcome to my podcast. See, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit loud. I'm a little bit boisterous. I'm a little bit grateful. I'm a little bit thankful. I'm a little bit of everything. And I'm just so grateful t- to be here today, this evening, of course, live in Bangkok. But man, it is a special day because I got a up and coming entrepreneur from England. This is my first international one. I've gotten, uh, I guess you could say about eight Americans so far, and this is the first one from England. So this is a special moment. This man is just about two hours outside of London doing great things in terms of, of course, giving so much insight and revelation to the young ones out there and probably across the world. I brought this man on the podcast today so we could just have a conversation about entrepreneurship and so many things going around, going on around the world. Without further ado, man, thank you so much, Luke, for joining me this morning. Oh, well, yeah, well, this morning out there, this evening over here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. My pleasure. Um, thank you for inviting me on. You know, I'm super pumped to, uh, to, to be on your podcast. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. So, man, I guess uh, it's, it's I guess it's time to give the give the world uh, the introduction of you, although I've already given one to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So um, my name is Luke Burrows. Um, like you say, I'm roughly about two hours outside of, of London. Um in a small town called um, Stroud, um, I well, my entrepreneurial journey started a couple, a couple of years ago, and now um, I help young people, 16, 24, um, with, with, with their mindset, with personal development. Recently founded an organization called Grow Together, and um, yeah, just like embracing the roller coaster of entrepreneurship and just providing value and helping others, really. Okay. All right. Awesome. You know, it's a very, well, I got a lot of questions because of course we linked up through, um, oh, come on, come on, come on. Celeste, Celeste, Celeste. That's her last name. Come on. Oh my goodness. Um, Selena. Oh my God, Selena. I hope she doesn't listen to this because she's going to run all up and down my ass. But anyways, man, (laughs) Selena, she's wonderful. I linked up with her through, of Mm -hmm. course, the Gary V page. Uh, and of course, both you and I, obviously we follow Gary V, uh, Gary V a lot and absolutely, absolutely. And entrepreneurships. Now, see, the thing is, of course, in America, boy, I could go on and on about America in terms of entrepreneurship and so many things, but I really would love to hear it from, of course, someone who lives in Britain, of course, someone who lives in England and tell me what it is, what it's like out there, I guess in England in terms of entrepreneurship is it a big thing is are people still taking the university route are people now there are trade schools and stuff out there such as what they have in australia you could go into a trade school between you know 15 and 16 years old what is it how is it out there yeah interesting um i think the like we still get taught the quote unquote traditional route if that makes sense right so 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 like your university kind you know and then um a job you know so so we still get taught like that kind of route yeah throughout school throughout college and everything so um i mean like obviously our structure is a little bit different to other countries obviously um so 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 we, we finish school uh, um, roughly about 16, but then we have to stay in education till 18. So then most people oh, then go right. to, yeah. So then most people then go to college, right? Um, and when I was, you know, go, going through this, um, it was very much, uh, again, kind of like um, j- job and career, if that makes sense. So how I found entrepreneurship was me actually getting out there myself, if that makes sense. Right. It wasn't like, like it wasn't an option, you know, you know, no one said to me, Oh, you know, you, you can run your own business. If that makes sense. Like it, we have like, um, career advisors and everything, like, like, you know, different, uh, levels and that. So at school you'd have a career person at college, you have like career people that can help you if you're stuck of what, what you want to do. Right. So, they, they they would never say, oh, you know, running your own business is an option. You know, mm. it's, it, it, it's very much, you know, um, uh, like like you say, uni. Obviously, we have um, college before uni, so, so so you have college, uni, and then 
um, obviously you, you, you graduate and everything. So um, this is very much that route, if that makes sense. Okay, okay, that makes sense. All right, I've read that actually quite a bit, especially in uh, mm. some of the books that I actually cheap, uh, teach out of. So a lot of you guys out there who are probably tuning in for the very, very first time, uh, I'm a teacher, I'm a writer, I'm a YouTuber. I do a lot of different things, a curriculum developer. And I've actually, the, the British curriculum is actually highly sought after out here in Thailand. So mm -hmm. I've read a lot about what you just said, and it's very fascinating because it's not like that. Well, of course, it's just a little bit different out there. But the traditional style in terms of putting everyone through school and doing this and doing that, that's still obviously out there. But so why did you end up taking the entrepreneurial route? Yeah, so um, I was, so when I was at college, I was doing a few different courses and that, and um, I kind of left halfway through the second year, right? Um, just because I just wasn't liking what I was doing, you know. So I just made made the decision, you know, pretty much life is too short, you know. Um, I'm going to move on to something else, right? So. Um, there was about, I don't know, a six month period when I was just pretty much doing nothing really, if I'm honest, and just kind of, kind of like just drifting through pretty much, you, you know, <laughs> yeah. just, just literally picking my nails, right? You know, right. Um, and then I was like, okay, so I'll, I'll so I want to run my own business, right? Because just like working for someone else just did not appeal to me, still does not appeal to me. Um, I know. So then, you know, I was, I think I was about 18, so I was still obviously very young, right. um, and I was like, well, I don't really have a lot of business experience, you know, I had all the, all these ideas and everything, um, so I thought, like, I needed to get, um, you know, just some business, maybe, experience. Now, looking back on it now, that may come from, you know, no, now knowing what I know, I probably should have just... Worked for free, huh? Well, because what happened was I got an, I got an apprenticeship, right? In, right. in business. Mm -hmm. But but the apprenticeship um, didn't really teach me a lot about business. I, actually, I, I, that's a mistake. It, took, it, it teach me what not to do, right? Oh, <laughs> so really? Which, uh -huh. which I suppose is actually a good thing. Because, uh -huh. it, because although that they, they were saying, oh, you know, it's a business apprenticeship, you know, really what happened was they put me in, in, in an office and I just done like a shitload of admin work right so i wasn't That's learning crazy. anything about how businesses are run you know? right um and then i kind of fell into the nine to five grind um and then it was probably 18 months later i looked and thought crap you know i'm in i'm in this grind now um and you know throughout that time i was becoming more unhappy and um i was actually becoming a lot more anxious right mm. um you, you know and just like it kind of had effects on my own like mental health and everything. Right. Um, so, so I kind of looked about 18 months later and thought, shit, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. Um, so then I probably spent a month or so kind of like, um, planning again to, you know, right. So I now need to actually set up this own business of mine, you know, because, you know, I'm doing this business apprenticeship, you know, I, um, uh, you know, I actually done it. I, you know, got my qualification, if you like, although, you know, like I said, they just put, uh, put me in, in like, an admin department. I just filed all day. So, you know, <laughs> that's crazy, uh, ain't it? Yeah, oh. for sure. For sure. Um, oh, my God. So, so, so then they offered me a job. that I, For some reason, I took that job at the time just because, you know, throughout it, um, I was, you know, I had like bills and that to pay. So I was just like, yeah, OK, you, you know. And then, then I, like, like I said, I got into the 9 to 5 grind. So about 18 months later, I looked at it and thought, actually, I now just need to get out there and set up my own business. Now, for the, few, the first couple of months, I wanted to set up like a clothing line. Right. Um, and that business like totally flopped, right? So <laughs> kind of, Why? Why did that flop? Um, <laughs> looking back, probably because I did not plan properly maybe um i you know i just made a lot of little mistakes like along the way uh and compounded i don't know you know because i probably didn't have the knowledge of how businesses are, are ran you know i, li mm -hmm. I li literally you know i still i so i had had my nine to five 
um, job, right? Mm -hmm. um, but because I didn't really learn anything about business in the business apprenticeship, it was I would literally just was just I don't know making it up as I go along, basically, you know. Um, so then I got offered like a network marketing opportunity, and I thought, mm, you know, this could this could help me uh, in terms of actually get into like the business world. Um, and so I was doing that um, for mostly throughout 2015 going into 2016 again didn't really get anywhere with that um and then it was probably last year so like yeah probably actually a year ago um i found uh like this online company this online platform that pretty much teaches you marketing and literally everything about business so i, I, I went through their coaching program and now looking back you know that has actually helped me so much over the last 12 months to actually do what I do now and actually find something that I, if, if, if I say want to do, which is, you know, mindset coaching, personal development, you know, actually finding my passion, my purpose, um, and then helping others. Um, so, so there's been a lot of mistakes along the way. Um, but you know, you learn from them, you grow from them and you move forward. Right, right. Oh, man. Just uh, as you were saying that, everything you were saying, I was like, oh, I remember that part, you know, in my yeah. life when I had to do this yeah. and did that. Man, I think, you know, just in the year living out there in Australia that, I, you know, I was on a working holiday visa as a dental mm -hmm. assistant. And man, I truly believe that I just let life pass right before my eyes because here I am working in these dental offices and I'm like, Man, this is reducing me to probably 5% of what my self-worth and true worth is. I'm not able to speak like I want to and do this and do that. And when I came back to America, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go to Asia, but I can no longer be a dental assistant. I can't be a glorified slave. This is mm, not what I've sure. been put on this planet to do. See, I didn't know about personal development either. No, 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 no. Well, well, when I got into um, the like network, network marketing and that, right. it's kind of a, like a big thing there. And, and then and they obviously recommend you you read the books and that. So I was going through that, and then it, I kind of, I, it was kind of like a slow transition, really, because um, I, 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 I don't know, I, like in any company I was in. So I was uh, I was with like the first company for a bit, and then I went to a second company. Like I just could not. Um, get passionate or you know about yeah. like a pro about, about the product or bringing people in you know and it was just kind of building my own thing you know from the, the early beginning of you know trying to set up my clothing line I just wanted my own thing now for some people you know when I say this to others they, they kind of like that you know that's my own mindset block because there's loads of people that are really successful at obviously uh, affiliate marketing you know and all these different things but right. for me I just wanted if you like my own thing does that make sense oh yeah absolutely I, yeah yeah you know just like build my own thing mm -hmm. you know so, so so like what what we're doing now at grow, at grow grow together although we have like mentors and everything it's I, it's still like my own thing it's because awesome. it's like my own original idea right it's you know it just sits differently and i can get more passionate about it i can um you know and, and that passion obviously comes out you know when i'm sharing it and when I'm maybe in meetings and on phone calls and everything, which obviously has an impact. So um, for me, all along, it was, I just really wanted to create my own um, thing in order to, you know, so, so, so people look at it and go, oh, Lou Burrows created that, you know, just leaving that, le if you like, empire and legacy and everything. Right, right, right. Wow, that's impressive. And the thing is, you're, you're specifically – targeting but uh what is it the 16 to 24 year olds or the 18 to 24 yeah. year olds is that because is that the is that like a very very critical moment and i guess you could say the 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 late teens and the young adults lives is that why you're mm. is that your target well i think it like if i just looked at my like, like my own story and going back between when i left school and probably up until the age of even last year because last year i was i was doing some mentoring in, in terms of personal development and that but what i was doing more last year and up until the summer was more helping young entrepreneurs to build businesses sharing with them what i was learning from you know in terms of marketing and everything so throughout you know like my if you like from when i've left school so between 16 and 21 i've kind of had challenges on finding something that i've wanted to do and 
And actually, I see it so often because I've got a, a younger brother, right? So even he is finding it hard to decide, like, you know, what career path that mm. you know he wants to do. And I think it's something that a lot of young people struggle with, mm. and they get put pressure on from maybe parents, and especially here in the UK, I see it often that, a, like, just let's just say a parent, right, yep. wants ha, has like uh, I don't know a big firm or a business or something. Right. They all they naturally want maybe their um, son or daughter to in, in you know to, to do the same thing, right? So it continues. Mm-hmm. But if their son or daughter wants to go in in a completely different field and go after their passion and everything, they they, they kind of feel like they have to do what you know go down the career path that their parents want them to go down. If that makes Crazy, sense, so then huh? they get overwhelmed. So then they get confused. So then you know they, they just you know i think aren't living true to themselves mm-hmm. so yeah so, so that's why i'm kind of targeting you know that age group because of you know things that um the struggles that i've had when i was you know between that age group as well and you know again i just see it so often with you know young people not isn't it's right it's not like you have to decide at 16 you know i want to do this for the rest of my life you know because change is constant throughout life but it's just the confusion that they have at that age that um, I think I just want to help them to kind of overcome. Mm-hmm. That does, that, is, does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, I practically do the same thing here because, of course, yeah. now in the UK, is it like, is it is it kind of like America? Because America, you know, when you're in high school, had that peer pressure from all your, you know, everyone, your peers around, and they're like, I'm going to Penn. I'm going to Georgetown. I'm going to Stanford. They're saying all these big time universities as if it's going to raise them to a plateau that it has never been seen before. But ultimately, what ended up happening, they've all become, I guess you could say, quote unquote, busts through the eyes of their parents and through the eyes of themselves. Is the UK sort of like, Oh well, I need to get to Cambridge. Is it kind of you know? That was my accent yeah. right there. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I think I think um, I think from what I kind of know and seen right. um, and kind of experienced a bit myself, there is definitely that. Um, again, you, you know, just the traditional route of well, in order to be successful, I need to go to the best. Mm college or the best uni you know and i actually watched a gary v video like the other day and he was explaining you know different routes that somebody can take and i think the traditional route he was talking about really you go through college you go through uni and then all you get at the end of it is obviously knowledge but it's just a piece of paper right piece of paper in a cubicle yeah yep. uh, uh, exactly right <laughs> exactly so so i think um yeah, you know, that's why I'm uh, helping, you know, uh, 16 to 24 year olds, you know, it's, it's kind of where my passion lies, where it is where my passion lies. And I just think just helping that age group um, become a little bit more clear, gain clarity on just kind of where they where they want to go. Again, I don't think it's like at the age of 16 or 18 saying, no, I want to do this for the rest of my life. You know, it's, it's not that um, because, again, things evolve, things change, you know, but it's kind of just having that path of where you're going to go down and um just just kind of following what you want to do if if yeah i I hope i hope that comes across clear to your audience no that makes sense that makes sense you man i had that see i had that special moment see i wasn't always into the personal development until well my life like listen life literally flipped right upside down as, as i was living out here because i became a victim of my own reactive language and everything that was happening around me and the, you know, the racial tensions that I've had from the people out here, I ultimately let that to create my life. And so next thing you know, here I come across the Les Browns and the Lisa Nichols of the world. I didn't know Gary Vee at the time. I just met the guy. Well, I met the guy on YouTube. Um, Just met, a, you know, came across him last year. But these mentors started coming out. And I'm like, personal development, what's that? And then next, you know, I started asking myself a lot of questions and then boom, I picked up a Napoleon Hill's book. Uh, what is yeah. it? The law of success. And I said, Oh my God. And that's when I created my podcast at the beginning of 2016. But I actually related this to one of my students because just as you were saying in that age group, a lot of them are influenced by social blueprints. So their parents are like, 
you need to go to the best school in Thailand. And she's like, okay, yeah. but this girl spoke fluent English. And I'm like, do you want to? She's like, no. I was like, where do you want to go? Oh, I want to do business. I said, well, Singapore is the business epicenter. I think you could mm. get some kind of, you know, some kind of ooh, much more there than you would here. So she went out there and now she's going to be getting her BA before 18. And she already has two online businesses at the age of 17. So this is what I love. And when that happened, man, it just seeing her every time I do, probably like every three, uh, what is it? Probably like three times a year, just seeing her grow before my very eyes. I am so proud of her. She's not a product of me. I literally just gave her a seed and she mm-hmm. decided to water it. And so that is just see. remarkable. That So you've had that experience too, right? Uh, for sure. For sure, yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. So yeah, I mean... And so, you know, in terms of like entrepreneurship, um, out there in the UK, see, I don't know, like you said, man, we've been following Gary Vee. He says a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, he says, you know, people are joining the whole entrepreneurship, you know, landscape because quote unquote, it's cool. But when times get tough, he says all of those B class, C class and all those other entrepreneurs, they're gone. They're not going to have founder of this CEO of this and that. Um, how big is entrepreneurship out there in the UK as compared? Well, I don't know if you, you know, we'll compare it to what I've seen and what we've seen on videos and this and that, of course, you know, through the lives of Gary Vee and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. So I think, um, I think it's going up if, if I'm honest. Um, I think that like a lot of people are, um, realizing, um, maybe, um, like, oh no, let me re- let me rephrase that. So I think a lot. I think it's going up, right? Um, because um, a lot of the people are maybe not happy what they're doing. So in in their job or if they're going for a union or whatever, you know. So so they're not happy with that, and obviously they're looking for alternatives. Which and you know one of the alternatives is entrepreneurship. So so a lot of people are if you like coming over to entrepreneurship because they aren't happy where they are. They want to do something different, and obviously our entrepreneurship can provide that for them. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Um, but yep. but, the, but the, the traditional route is still that, you know, people, um, uh, if, if you like, in, you could say encourage, you know, mm-hmm. um, is uni, college, you know, college, uni. De- de- degrees you know so on and so forth get yourself a top job in a top firm you know but you know i, ha- I have seen a um, obviously rise in you know people starting businesses and in entrepreneurship right and when did you have when was that exact moment you had the self-awareness that you just weren't content anymore you know i i was uh interviewing selena and she said, uh, you know, th- this guy was, oh, my God, I think he was screaming or he he threw something across the counter and almost hit her in a Walmart. And it was just bananas. I was like, oh, my God, did that actually happen? And mm. she was like, at that specific moment, I just couldn't believe it anymore. I was like, I can't go through this anymore. And so taking orders from, of course, a dentist and even, I mean, I, I guess you could say I worked underneath, you know, a couple of people out here and they were bossing me around saying, oh, I don't have to give you a visa. I don't have to give you this. And I'm like, uh, bye. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I do not take that. You know what I mean? I, well, I was 25 years old at the time. Now I'm 29. I'm full on. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. For but sure. when do you um, say enough was enough? Yeah. So I think, like I said, from, from um, an early age into, I think I was probably about, 17 18 um and i was just like looking at my options after i came out of college halfway through the second year right um and so, so then i made the decision you know i don't want to work for, 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 for someone else and you know i want to start my own business but obviously i had that kind of um confusion around actually identifying like one or you know something to go into kind of i had maybe a little bit of self-doubt in terms of um you know, I don't really know a lot about business. So, you mm-hmm. know, so it, it was always, that seed was always there in my mind. Um, I think, like, 
it started to uh, to grow, if you like, right? It, right. When I, when I was in the 9 to 5 grind, and I was just like, so I'm meant to be doing this for the rest of my freaking life. You right. know, I'm, I'm 19 <laughs> years know. old. I you know. know what I'm saying? I'm meant to be doing this until I'm, what, 60, 70? Yeah, you know, that's crazy, 70. huh? I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And, and I had the thought of the retirement age is only going to go one way. That one way is not down. That one way is up. <laughs> you, know so, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. By time, so by time it's, you know, um, but by time I'm able to retire, you know, I want to be like 100 or something, you know. Right, you know, right. I'm still here then, right? So I was just like, nah, you know, um, I have to, you know, just, just take a simple action. So I was just like, right. Let's just start planning. Let you know. I want to create this 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 Cleveland line. Obviously, it failed and that, but I learned a lot a lot from that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so the, to answer your question, the seed was always there. Okay. Um, but when you but when I actually realised, I'm 19 years old. You know, this is so. This was a few years ago. I meant to be in the nine to five grind for until I'm you know 70, 80 plus. Now nah, you know I'm gonna this ain't for me. You know. Right. Um. So so yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, uh, what is it? Over the course of the years that you were just making the transition, who was the biggest influence? Oh, good question. Biggest influence. Um, like mine, of course. Obviously, you know. I guess you could say Napoleon Hill, and he died eighty years ago. But yeah, honestly, I changed the mind. Who was the one that changed that paradigm within you? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have, now the who doesn't have to be alive. You know what I mean? That yeah, could be yeah, some. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, sure. okay. Right. Um, Dale Carnegie. Oh my god. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm reading one of his books right now. I don't, you Which know, one? I actually don't know. I think I follow. I do follow um, a lot of um, individuals online. So, for example, Gary V. I like following him because he just says it how it is. You know, there's no. There's no sugar coat in her. Exactly, you know, he just says it exactly how it is, and I and I like that because I think people need to actually hear that sometimes, um, you know, just hear it straight how it is. I think in terms of where I was, like not really knowing maybe a lot about business, and now you know, knowing a bit more, and the growth between then and now was probably the um, the coaching program I went through. So it. So that was probably the biggest influence, and that was um, mm. by a company called uh, Elite Marketing Pro. Um, oh. So that was probably the biggest influence to just change my mindset in terms of what I thought about business to actually what business is, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, so answering your question, I, I don't actually think it's a singular person. I follow a lot of people that have influence in terms of you know so i like to follow follow tony robbins um, yeah. you know gary v um you know so many others uh you know re- read their books and that that obviously have influence right right but i think in terms of answering your question in terms of um what i like what i thought i had to do in business and you know now knowing what i need to do and you know how to do it mm-hmm. um it was probably going through again the, that coaching program in that period, uh, which was beginning of last year. That you know, it just completely switched my mindset. Um, so yeah, answering your question, that's what I would probably. Say. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. And so, of course, now that you have a business, you know, mentorship, this, that. In terms of development, there are so many people that come up to us with so many different problems, right? I get Q's and A's from anonymous people and I address them, you know, I'd be like, okay, so workplace futility, you know? (laughs) And, and And of course, there's a lot of things I've read and a lot of personal experiences that I, you know, that I come across that I try relating to them and whatnot. Um, if someone, oh man, I had one of my students, he said, and of course he could barely speak any English, but he came up to me one day and he was like, I'm sick of doing the same thing over and over and over again. I need to biohack my mind. And I, this coming from a Thai student, I said, what do you know about that? Because biohack, mm. you know, Vishen Lakiani, Mind Valley Academy, 
Um, and you know, literally this all just stems back to what Bob Proctor and everyone has said, like Earl Nightingale, it's all about changing the paradigm, changing your habits, the results, everything that you're getting is all compounded over time of what you've been doing in the past and et cetera, et cetera. So if someone comes up to you and they're like, you know, I need to develop, I'm not content with my life. I want to pursue my bliss. How do you go about, you know, how do you go about saying, okay, all right, so this is what you need to do first. How do you do it? Yeah, okay. So I think it's uh, like, like, like like you were saying, it's kind of understanding uh, where you, like, why you are where you are right now. Right. Which is down to, like, obviously the habits, the routines, the decisions, the choices, so on and so forth you've made it in in the past because without becoming aware of them you're know, nine times out of ten you, you know you're just going to keep doing them you know <laughs> I, I, obviously uh, either consciously or subconsciously right you, you know there's you know you're still going to keep doing them um so it, i think that is like the key first step in understanding you know why you are where you are right now um and once you can really grasp that and understand that, but again, understand that, then I think it's uh, we we look at ways to progress forward. If that makes sense. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. It, it's it's like <laughs> bad. Of course, we go through. Of course, so many different phases. We come across so many different people in. When I first travel abroad for the first time, you know, uh, without consulting anyone, you know, my brother was like, man, what the hell are you going abroad for, man? I said, I'm going to do, I'm just following what the voice told me. I woke yeah. up at midnight and it said, leave. And I said, <laughs> leave where? And I went to Australia because my friend was there. And you know what? My mind, everything I thought about life was completely reversed. Australia, it being the most magnificently beautiful country I've ever been to uh, at that moment. Um, I told myself, I said, hey, okay, I'm going to go back. And, you know, when I actually just fought, when I did something that was uncommon, can you believe that my life changed forever? Then I look back right now at my family and they're still doing the same thing they've been doing since the 90s, since I was a kid. And they mm-hmm. keep complaining, saying, I don't have this and I don't have that. And I'm like, well, look at your actions. It's producing your results. I don't understand people don't – I don't understand why people do not have that type of awareness. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's Again, for me, it's just like – I don't know. Um, it might sound kind of weird because obviously I'm a mindset coach and that, but, but that just totally boggles my mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. I, I, just, I, don't, I actually think I have to work on that myself. I absolutely do, but – that just totally boggles my mind. You know, if something isn't working, you know, try something else. <laughs> right. Don't keep <laughs> doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> Common sense, you know. I, I just don't understand. I literally do not understand. Right. And that, and that's, <laughs> and you know what? That's what ultimately ended up changing me that specific uh, yeah. day because I told you I became the victim and whatnot. And then next you know, here's Lisa Nichols on the Steve Harvey show crying about her story, mm. saying she didn't have enough money uh to buy diapers for her baby so she had to wrap them up in a towel and she was crying and she made a promise to herself she said don't worry jelani mommy will never be this broke again and she started going to conventions full of of course anglo anglo americans whatever you want to call them let's just say people and she was the only african-american woman there at that time she was living in south central la which is a disgusting place to live and she just made that conscious decision and said this is ridiculous my son doesn't deserve what i brought him into so hey it's time to wake up that awareness right there could you teach that could you teach that um sorry sorry can you repeat that yeah i mean that that type of awareness saying okay yeah Kind of like when Selena had the awareness and said, oh, my God, I can't do this anymore. Can't, kind of like when you had the awareness and said, yeah. no more nine to five. Oh, kind of like mm-hmm. self-awareness. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, sorry. I, I was um, – a notification kept down on my phone. <laughs> I, got, I got distracted. So, sorry. Right, right. Um, that happens to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, self-awareness. Mm, I think mm, – can you teach that? 
I don't know if you can teach it. I think going back to what I said before about, I think you can understand how your habits and your decisions, well, your habits, your routines, your choices, decisions, so on and so forth, have uh, put you, if you like, where you are today. I think you can understand, I think people can understand that. Right. So if they understand actually you know, this habit, this decision I made was not the best decision. This routine I've, you know, created is disempowering. Uh, this choice I made, I can learn from that and grow from that. I think people can understand that. And when they understand that, I think they, they kind of do become more self-aware in, in a way. Right. Um, so, yeah, you know, I think it's just uh, looking at, you know, I always refer for, go back to those four kind of things, right? So your habits, your decisions, your routines, and your choices. Right. Um, so, yeah, does that answer your question? Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Um, yeah, yeah. So actually teaching self-awareness, um, I'm not sure. I think understanding how... Your feelings, like, maybe? Your inner feelings? Yeah, understanding, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not happy at this job. Um, fuck yeah. you guys. I'm out of here. You, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For maybe because sure. we're just... Absolutely. Yeah, maybe we're just so caught up in being, you know, life... We want life to be easy. We don't like... Gr- well... I guess that's how you have to like rewire your, you know, rewire your, um, rewire your mind and everything. Cause Tony Robbins talks about this so much in terms of we get comfortable with it being easy and we get comfortable being uncomfortable. We get comfortable with, you know, colleagues saying this or people in our neighborhood doing this or people saying this about us. And we're just like, okay, well, I'm just going to stay here because it's easy. I don't want to grow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, just, like as soon as you said that i just refer back to like the nine to five grind and why yeah, people just what, what, why people will just you know sit that out it's just because it's just easy right think about it you, people might not like it but it's easy you wake up get it in, in, in the car or, or you know if people go by public transport you go to work you sit at a desk you do what you, you get you know your, your boss gives you instructions you do them you go home you sit down, you watch TV. Next day, you get up, car, drive to work. It's just easy. Right. It's just real, really. So that's then, crazy, man. You, you know, and, and, and people get into the routine where, you know, it's, it's, you know people, the, people just get into that routine. Well, when, when actually stepping out and going, huh, you know, I'm actually unhappy doing this. Let's do something else. Oh, I know what I do. I will build a business that is hard. Right. Right, right. And they don't want hard. Exactly. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, man. That's that boy. I uh, now that you're saying that everything is starting to click right now because I'm like, <laughs> you, because my best friend the other night he was like, Arsenio, you went to Thailand on vacation for six days. You thought it was wonderful. You moved out there, and then boom. See, that's your problem. You think everything. You do not look deeper into the literal. You, we, th- a lot of us, you know, we're kind of like literal thinkers rather than digging real deep into the. It's kind of like functional medicine, right? You're sick. We get something, of course, some pills, some tablets to cure us right then and there, but we don't get to the root cause. So, I mean, but you know, in terms of me, I'm so glad I never gave up living here because Mm -hmm. I'm just like looking around saying, wow, our city. (laughs) All Mm -hmm. I could do is just laugh. And, and, you know, throughout your life and especially – Everything that you're going to be achieving, and now that you have an organization, can you talk to us about that organization you have? Grow together, yeah, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I found Grow Together um, like back end of last year, um, and we're just um, yeah, I'm really really excited because we're, we're building out mentorship programs, programs, courses, you know, all different things. At the moment, we do have membership, um, two membership options that people can head over to our website, growtogethernetwork.com. To, to check them to check those out you know they, they, they get um, included in within that is coaching mentorship but but we're building out other programs other courses um you know ho- hopefully as well you know i'll be writing some books and ebooks on so forth and it'll be all included within like a big back office and everything so 
we're really really excited and then we'll be reaching out doing workshops and everything so uh really really excited for that that's um, that's awesome yeah mm-hmm. okay so, yeah. okay and so and so what's the overall the overall picture now i don't i never got your age now what's your age again I'm 22. Oh my God, you're a baby. Okay, all right. So at least I could still say we're both in our 20s right now, just for the next yeah. two months. Oh God. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> but what's what? When it's all said and done, I love asking people this question right before you know I let you go on about your day and whatnot. But what is it? What's the legacy? What is it that you want to leave? The the blueprint. When your grandchildren pick up this podcast somehow, you know, in the next 100 yeah. years, next 200 years, who yeah. knows, you know, yeah, yeah, what right, is it that right, you... Right down in the um, archive of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Gary V talks about this so much. He's like, you know what? My great, 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 great granddaughter is watching this right now. And it's just interesting, mm. isn't it? Because if we don't kill each other, we're going to be here for... You know, at least for the next hopefully two hundred years minimum. You know, mm-hmm. but anyways, mm-hmm. um, back to that. Um, what is it that you want to create? Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, Selena did ask me this, and I was kind of a bit like, uh, oh, you, know, <laughs> like, you know. And I think, I, I think there are a few points here, and uh, you know, I'll quickly go through them. For someone to say, you know, I did not give up because of you mm, you know i like that just, just that like it's that. just like wow That's it. you know i did not give up because of you i mean to be honest right i've, I've kind of um got this a part of my mind is pretty pretty much right i am an ordinary guy right i am it's literally i live in a small town i am an ordinary guy i just have a big vision i just want to make a lot of shit happen <laughs> right yeah so, 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 so you know i am just an ordinary guy Right. So for someone to just say, I did not give up because of you, that is just pretty much it in like a few words, yes. you know, you know, and, and, and even like with what, with what I'm building at Grow, at Grow Together, just imagine having multiple people, you know, thousands of people saying, you know, I did not give up because because of you, because of, you know, what you created, because of your programs because of your mentorship because of your coaching you know that's amazing I, I, ain't it you know i oh. i think that's quite i think that is, is some powerful crap you, you know some powerful shit that someone you know did not give up because because of me right and that is just that just blows my mind i love man that right there man it's, it's kind of like when you, my students go on to another, you know, they go on to another country and whatnot. But that message right there, oh my god, that I mean, that's that's like the ultimate fulfiller, you know. And when Absolutely. some oh man, especially if it's just an anonymous person from like Warsaw, Poland, or you know, I Mauritius exactly. or something, you know. You know, I think it's if it, just pitch this. Someone comes because I do a lot of um, like you may have seen it on Facebook on my videos, right? So right. Just so so just imagine, right? Someone comes across one of my vi- videos on YouTube, right? And they're inspired, and because of that one video, that took me maybe f- ten minutes to prep, took me ten minutes to um, record, took me five minutes to ten minutes to edit, and because of that video, they are now going to do something with their lives mm. because of that video, that singular video that is like like ten minutes long. They are inspired to do something big, right? They are inspired just to not give up. You know, someone on like, or maybe like the edge, right? Just comes across one of my videos and is like, shit, you know, I need to sort myself out. That is just blows, literally. That is, that is what it's about. That's what it's about right there. That's what we live for. And the thing is, we're all teachers and students too. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So I can learn something from you, you, you know, I'm, Everyone you meet, right, you can learn something from. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm, that's it. You hit the nail right there on the head, boy. That was it right there. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Luke. I know you got big things going on. So, of course, I put uh, 
I put loop. Man, my Bose headphones suck. They just keep going out and on because I need to install another AAA. Anyways, Luke, I uh, I already put everything in the description in terms of his website. If you guys want to check that out, who are listening all around the world at this given moment or who will probably listen to in the next 100 years. We'll have somebody out there, uh, you know, still running Luke's website. Hopefully we could get all that squared away. Uh, but Luke, how can they get in contact with you? Okay, so if you're interested in learning more about me and what I'm doing, then you can go to my website, so that's LukeBarrows.com. You reach out to me on Facebook. So all of my usernames on Facebook is at Real Luke Burrows. Um, and yeah, you know, so, so, social media or my website. Awesome. All right. B U R R O W S for those of you out there uh, okay. who are in non native English speaking countries. But man, Luke, thank you so much, man. I had a, had the special privilege to, uh, you know, come on to my podcast and whatnot. And man, we had a good time. And for all of Absolutely. you out there who are listening, uh, of course, around the world, uh, please let this, you know, just let it seek in for a little bit. Just think about everything. That I remember Jim Carrey was actually standing on stage and he was like, just look at the world around you right now. You created it. See, once you have the awareness that you realize, oh, you live in that shitty apartment. You got that shitty job. Excuse my French. You got that shitty girlfriend. You got the shitty anything shitty going on. Okay, it's a big shit festival. But once you have the awareness (laughs) to say, damn, I created a shitty girlfriend. See, now you have the power. And then you have the power to change it. Yeah, for sure. So thank you so much, Luke, man. Thanks so much for that podcast. Uh, Guys, again, if this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. Uh, And if you liked it, shared it. And if you shared it, that means you like it. So again, Luke, I'll probably have you back on board uh, within um, probably, you know, the next six to 12 months or whatnot and see what's going on in your life. And man, thanks again so much. No, pleasure is all mine. I could literally talk all day. (laughs) (laughs) All right. And guys, with that being said, I'm going to close this bad boy podcast out. Uh, Of course, as always, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, the man, Arsenio, over and out.